welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this series, we are seeing the concept of state flow and how it works in MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see what are different decompositions that are present in MATLAB and how they execute the tasks in state flow. We will analyze. So let's create a state flow model for decomposition of MATLAB. So let's analyze what is a decomposition in state flow in MATLAB. Again, we need to type SF. So first, let's save this model as decomposition state flow. While naming any model of Simulink, we cannot use space. So that's why we are using underscore to give it a proper name. Now let's save this model. You will be able to see the same model over here, decomposition in state flow. So let's open this model, which is the blank one. As we already know, now just double click on this particular state flow chart. We will be building the and decomposition and or decomposition in state flow MATLAB. So let's start first creating with a or decomposition. We have created a default state, which is the on state. Now let's copy and paste it. Then we have a off state. We are transitioning from on to off with some switch logic, which is SW equal to equal to one. And from off to on with SW equal to equal to C. This is the logic for on to off. This type of logic is called a R logic, which means if I have this model, I need to define it the switch first for this particular model. I will be opting the symbol wizard and just name it as the output. Now, if I simulate the model again, it will run properly. Now, whatever the logic that I have made is a or decomposition logic. So, suppose I want to duplicate the entire block that I have made and I want both of the block sets to be executed parallelly then in this case I cannot implement the same unless I have two parallel blocks running. How I can do that? Using this particular method which will be creating two state and now here I can change the decomposition to and which is parallel once i change this decomposition i can give some name process one which is p1 and process two now as you can see over here we have this state flow chart and these states there are two states which we are able to see one is p1 which is the process one and second one is the process two and both are operated with the help of the switch uh, we have children state these are called children state and this is the parent state and we can see around p1 and p2 the dotted lines if we see dotted lines around the state then those states are parallelly executing states how i implemented the parallel execution by right clicking on the space and clicking on the parallel option which is the end option and means when this whole thing executes this process p1 and the process p2 will execute simultaneously now let's see how it is working so for that we will be adding a constant block and that constant block will have a value of one now we will connect these two as we have defined for switch to on for switch to off we have defined that sw should be equal to equal to one so at the first sample time which is 0 0.2 sample time we will have this particular state be activated now let's see what is actually happening by stepping in here we have given one as the value for the switch which is now let's step and see how it is working if i step one time 
then as you already know whichever the things are blue are active so in this case we have two activated state which are parallel p1 and p2 both are activated simultaneously along with that whichever is the default transition inside them for on state got activated this happened in the zeroth sample time here the simulation just started which is the initiation next if i step again then the particular condition which is sw1 got satisfied and it has entered into the op state but this happened for both the system for p1 as well as for p2 so this type of execution in state flow is called a parallel execution and where we will be using such type of things we will be using such operations when the process 1 is representing a system and the process 2 is diagnosing the system like a fault detection system or a fault diagnostic system in that case both need to be running parallelly and then a proper fault detection can happen so that is why the parallel decomposition is used and it is used in a varieties of way now suppose if i change my value from 1 to 0 and then again if i step then the second condition that is sw equal to equal to 0 got satisfied and the state entered into the on state inside the end inside the uh, process p1 and p2 so this is how end decomposition works in matlab and where it is implemented in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing press on the bell icon for latest updated notifications and please share your comment or suggestions in the comment box so that we can try to improve your learning experience of matlab in this channel thank you and consider subscribing to the channel Thank you.